फिफ्टी सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर रिगार्डिंग द कैपिटल गेंस आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट प्रीवियसली इन द केस ऑफ कैपिटल गेंस इफ द मनी वॉज डिपोजिटेड इन द नेशनलाइज बैंक फॉर ए पीरियड ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स दैन नो कैपिटल गेंस टैक्स वॉज पेड बट एट द सेम टाइम गवर्नमेंट हैज नो मनी फॉर सर्कुलेशन इट इज फॉर कंसिडरेशन वेदर the government is benefiting by the present system or it was benefiting more by the previous system and if necessary if you increase the period from 3 years to 5 years i suppose more money will be available for circulation and use sir i would like to mention that in the case of wealth tax one year is exempted now the value of the car is around rupees 75000 i suppose i do not know which car comes for rupees 75000 these days the minimum price of car in india is about rupees 2 lakh and if i am correct then this must be looked into and we must adopt a realistic approach i now come sir to the ministry of health the constitution of india lays down that the state shall strive to raise the level of nutrition and the standard of living of its people and the improvement of public health is among its primary duties and functions now can we really honestly say that this is being done what is the position today in our hospitals there are strikes every day there is go slow every day then there is the shortage of medicines there is the shortage of beds and there is the shortage of hospitals so it is absolutely necessary that more provision should be made for hospitals and for medical care of the people because this is one of the essential items and we need more hospitals and better care of health sir the ministry of home affairs allocations are quite generous the well being of our people should be there the people particularly the minorities and the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes have a feeling of uneasiness and that feeling of uneasiness has to be removed by improving the law and order situation there has been a long standing demand for a paramilitary force i do not understand why there is delay in having a mixed type of paramilitary force because this will restore the confidence of the weaker sections of the people sir similarly i would like to point out that the minorities commission has been appointed but what is its function it is only an advisory body nobody cares for its report nobody cares for its suggestions and therefore this minorities commission should be given statutory power or otherwise it should be abolished because i feel that whatever expenditure we are incurring now on this minorities commission is waste because they are not doing any useful work and it is no fault of theirs because 
we have not equipped them we have not given them adequate powers we have not provided them necessary facilities to do their work not only at the center but even in the states this is a matter for the home ministry to consider sir another commission that has been appointed is the subordinate services commission this commission consists of only two people chairman and a member why cannot we have three or four members this commission is like the upsc if they have to perform their task of recruitment they have to be provided facilities the commission should be expanded and provided with one or two more members this shall enable greater amount of clarity in understanding among the members no doubt the finance minister has been very liberal comparatively this time but it is still not enough adequate funds have not been provided for essential services for the capital the population of delhi is more than 1 billion people what is happening today even the essential services have been outstripped by the requirement of the people the main problem is the transport water supply and electricity are also main problems it is therefore very necessary that additional allocations should be made for these items for delhi transport problem particularly in a big or metropolitan city can not be solved by operating a few hundred or a thousand buses we must provide something better the only solution that can meet the requirements of a city like delhi is the rapid transport system a rapid transport system should be provided for delhi irrespective of the cost involved because cost is not the only consideration the consideration is that the people should get the facility and that facility has to be provided and should be provided as early as possible the ministry of transport is responsible for the transport problem of the whole country india is one of the countries which has the largest network of roads therefore we have to ensure that proper type of transport facilities are provided in rural urban and metropolitan areas also stop